me Kendra E and as you can see I'm back with another video but today's video is going to be a little different it's going to be a cooking video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy shrimp pasta and a salmon so without further ado we're going to just jump right into the video first I'm going to get my noodles ready got these noodles so I'm going to just put some water in this pot. Go ahead and turn the stove on. I've already washed my hands before the video. So I'm going to just wait for that water to boil. So now I'm just going to prepare my shrimp. These are the shrimp that I got from Kroger. One was $10 and the other smaller one was $5. Here I am just making sure that my shrimp are washed fairly and I just want them to be nice and clean before I put them in a pan. So these shrimp do have, you know, a little shell on them, so I gotta take them off first. I'm gonna get some butter to put in the skillet. I'll go ahead and turn this on, maybe like five for right now. put a little of that in there right now put this to the side I could have gotten the frozen ones but I didn't want to get those and these are bigger so we're just gonna go with this but it's not gonna take that long for me to take these off. Okay, so I'm transferring it into this bigger pan because that's going to work. So now I'm just going to go ahead and throw my shrimp in there. And I did put a whole stick of butter in there. So we're just going to let this do its thing. This water is still coming to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and put my seasoning in there. I'm about to use some minced garlic. This minced garlic is going to give it a lot of flavor, the flavor that it needs, just a little bit. Then we also going to go in with some little pepper, black pepper. We're going to go in with some Cajun. Like so. We're also going to use a little bit of onion powder. A little blackened seasoning. Stir 
stir it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the Obe. Give it a little spice. So now this is boiling how we want it to boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my noodles in there. And I'm gonna break them in half. Drop them in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my frozen um, vegetables in here. And it's just butter from the shrimp. I said quick and easy. That's what I mean. Pouring a little more butter in here. Our noodles should be done now. So we're going to check that. Nice and fork tender. I got these on a low bowl. So now I'm gonna season this kind of lightly cause we don't want it to be too salty or anything. Just lightly with a little pepper. This is gonna be our sauce. A little onion powder, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my heavy whipping cream. Just a little bit of that. We don't measure around here. Go ahead and stir that up. See, it's looking really creamy. have some spinach that I'm going to cut up and I won't be using all of this but I'm gonna go ahead and wash this so you guys can see me doing that you know I'm gonna just take some out because I'm not gonna use that much So we're going to probably use about this much. Go ahead and rinse that off in cool water, not hot water. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. Um, I'm not going to cut them really small. Just slightly. I do want it to be kind of big because it's going to get, it's going to shrink up when it goes into the pot. And I'm going to cut some of the ends off because I don't really like them, but I know people do use them, but it's whatever you want to do. 
And y'all, I'm doing this on a plate. I'm gonna plastic plate at that because I don't have many um, dishes. Y'all know, well, some of y'all know that I just moved into my apartment. So, yeah, we just gotta make do with what we got. So now, I'm gonna just kinda stir that in there a little bit. Turn this back up to seven. And it's not gonna take long at all. Stare down a little bit. That look good already. Okay. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute and then I'm gonna be right back. So y'all, I added a little bit more uh, heavy whipping cream just to make a little more sauce. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is squeeze a little lemon juice in here. Ooh, that splashed everywhere. But I promise you, this gonna give it the flavor that I'm looking for. Also, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and a lot of it. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. We don't need that burning. We're gonna just stir and see what we got. We're gonna turn it down. Let the cheese cook a little slow. So now it's definitely at the right consistency. I'm gonna add a little more seasoning. And that's all the seasons that I used earlier. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my shrimp in there. Because we are at the finish line. Stir it up. It's nice and cheesy. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... Whew, and it smells so good. Stir it up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour that in my noodles. Turn the stove off. Oh, that's cheesy. I know y'all see that. Do this. Right here. Right here so y'all can see. i do it this way. Now we're just going to stir it up. Okay, so now, last but not least, we're going to get into the salmon. I'm going to go ahead and wash this bad boy off. I don't know if y'all know, but you definitely have to cut this back part off before you start cooking. So let's get right into that. And it's real easy to cut. Put it over here so y'all can see. Some just slide right off or you may have to like pull and cut. And that's what I'm having to do. Like push down and just kind of pull it off.
I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up directly in the middle. So we can just have two equal slices. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the stove. Let's see, we're gonna do like seven. I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter in here. I feel like that much for now. And then we can add some more when it start melting. Now we go ahead and season our salmon. We're gonna use some more minced garlic. We're gonna use a little bit of salt, pepper, Not too much because the seasoning is all in the pasta. We're going to use a little seasoned salt, tad bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going to use some onion powder. A little Cajun. And then for the rest, we're going to use, take that off the stove for a minute. Uh, black it black and season and this is where a lot of the flavor comes in too so we're gonna use quite a bit of that and y'all already know what you do one side you have to do to the other side so we're gonna do that real quickly so we can throw this on the stove So I went ahead and put those in a pan. Like I said, we're gonna leave them on there for like five or six minutes and then we're gonna turn them. So when they are ready to be flipped, then I'll come back. Right here, I'm just getting the lemon ready to put on top of each salmon. You know, you got to look fancy, like, period. <laughs> no, but I really do like to eat lemons with my salmon. I didn't have to switch to a whole different, bigger knife because that other knife was just not cutting it. So now I'm just cutting out a few pieces. And here are the lemons. Mm, they be so good. So this is the finishing touch. Smells really good, really creamy. So we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys like what you saw. I hope you really like this video. If you want to see more cooking videos from me, let me know down below in the comments. And also, if you want to see anything specifically made, please comment that below. And I will get that video out for you guys. Anyway again if you like this video please like comment and subscribe turn on that post notification so you'll never miss any of my videos and we are out